hello guys how you doing now in the last video we um, we implemented this um, fetching of the post we could get from the fibers okay so so far we can create and we can get from the fibers now I said we're going to implement redox but before that I want to do one more thing that is implementing this uh, rich text editor in this uh, body section so it looks you know so it's beautiful to create blogs because that's our target right? we want to make it a the blog application so let's do that let's implement this what you see is what you get editor also known as uh, wizzy egg or something what you say is what you get yeah so the one i'm going to use is this one react quill okay and i found I've, i was looking for a few of them and i found this one is to be the best so let's implement that okay so the first thing you need is we need to import okay so install a couple of packages first one uh, we begin with um, react quill okay so yarn add our npm install react quill and then the next one we need is react render html okay react render html okay let's install those two packages now this one react render html it will uh, help us render the html um, to in the screen okay so convert HTML to the actual the regular text all right so we got that now let's keep our application running yes now let's go and start working on this one so the first thing we need obviously we need to import okay so import react quill this is a component okay from Quill. next thing we need is we need to import now we get the CSS as well along with this quill so if you look in the node modules it's there inside a dist folder uh, it's called quill.snow.css okay so I'm going to use that as well so import um, react quill so it, go, it goes to the node modules package and then we get dist quill dot snow dot css okay this is the one we need the css it comes with quill this package okay react dash quill slash dist quill dot snow dot css okay so the next thing we Im imported that uh, render to html method of uh, the package so import render HTML from in fact it's, it's all caps import render HTML from react render HTML uh, as I was just looking for this package I was just uh, looking uh, for package that will convert the HTML to uh, the the actual uh, you know the one that converts the HTML and I found this one and uh, it's pretty good okay so this one you need in order to work with the react quill okay so once we have that we're ready now the first thing we want to do is we have this form with two input fields in fact the first one is fine we need this uh, title that's fine but the second this body we're going to replace with this react quill component which is um, like a text area in a rich text area rich text ed editor so what is this um, okay so it's for the body so what we're going to do is we're going to replace this input okay so how we're going to do that is first thing let me replace this with react quill okay then the next thing is value value is fine text type text we don't need that name we don't need that placeholder we can have that placeholder is fine um on change that's fine uh, reference we don't need reference in fact we didn't need reference before as well okay and then class name <coughs> class name also we don't need okay so we have the value 
we have the on change and we have the placeholder now we need uh, two more things okay we need the modules okay now i'll show you what what it actually is okay so don't worry so app dot modules so we're going to create this next okay formats so what what sort of formats we want to have in this editor we define here so app dot okay so app dot modules so beside these things we need these two modules and format for this uh, react quill okay so what's that what is app dot modules okay so let's uh, let's define that we define that here down here so right after this closing class okay after the component what do you do so you can put in a separate file as well but for the moment let's do it here so app dot modules okay we just create it okay so we're going to define the modules here okay so it's an uh first let's begin with toolbar toolbar okay so this toolbar will sit on top you know so this one is an array uh, th inside this we're gonna have a couple of things okay so the first array let's create and for example what is the what is what is it that we want for example we want maybe h1 option right so inside this um, curly brace let's define header and then let's say one okay so this will show us h1 okay if you come here as you can see it's h1 so if you type anything Oh, sorry it doesn't work at the moment all right let's let's not worry about that let's implement this now so this is h1 so a similar way you can have h2 okay so it's pretty flexible as you can see you can just customize the way you want okay so copy that comma and let's say let's make it h2 you want h2 as well okay and then maybe you want uh, font option font server okay so font let's make it an empty array let's give it a try awesome okay so these are the default fonts you get okay so we got h1 h2 sans serif. this is how you a uh, custom build your own uh, rich text editor how cool is that right okay so that's the toolbar now let's work on size okay so all this toolbar okay this is a big array it's outer array let's okay so this is the one this is for the header now let's create another one for size okay so it's the same another array and then we say size and we say empty array okay okay so we've got the size normals a large and all that stuff That's great. Now the next thing we can have our type like bold. We can have italic. We can have underline strike. Okay. That's all we need for this one. That should be enough. Now let's uh, create a list array. List, and we can say ordered. In fact, let's keep it inside curly braces. Okay. That's one. Then let's do another one for bullet style okay awesome so on our ordered and bullet that should be enough now the next one we want is a link for images and videos okay and this is another super cool thing about this one we can embed uh, videos obviously uh, as a link and image when you embed the image it will convert to a base 64 so it will um, convert to code so physically your image will be there so it's not going to move to folder directory it's going to upload somewhere anyway it will it is going to be there it will be converted to base 64 okay super cool now let's let's do that as well so 
let's have link okay let's have image let's have video okay and if we want to reset i think this is a clean okay. clean we'll see this soon in the browser clean and then we're gonna be able to post the code blog as well all right that's it that's all we need for toolbar okay you can visit this site and maybe want if you want more stuff but that looks pretty awesome all the important features we have we have the image okay so as you can see the box pops up pretty amazing all right so we have yet to uh, implement that but this feature is pretty awesome i like about most about this uh, editor okay so we define the modules the next step is uh, defining the what's that format in fact i have to name it format so okay so we define the modules so now we need to define the formats okay so in a similar way we're going to define the formats now formats will be a uh, pretty uh, straightforward the header font size bold and all that stuff so how long is this video has been five minutes um app formats as well so app formats okay this is going to be an array now inside here we're going to have header we're going to have font we're going to have size and then we also going to be having bold italic underline strike I, I should copy this one block quote all right now the list order list or not sorry not order list and then um bullet right list okay list bullet and then we're going to have let's say link right image okay so once we define all this code block so that's all that's all we need for this to work all right so these are the formats and these are the modules okay and we have already used the react query here so let's give it a try okay so that's pretty awesome but you cannot type property name undefined okay so we need to handle change we need to handle it a bit differently so what we have here is this method this way it's not going to work so on input on let's name it on handle change okay on handle change okay and let me update here as well okay so this is for the react uh, this react quill so on handle change what are you going to do is we're going to slightly modify let's get rid of it so what are you going to do is this set state we're going to use it individually okay so this set state and then we're going to say what we have here so here the body right so the body what we can do is on handle change this set state body will be body will be the the event itself so we give the entire event here okay so we can even console log right console log and have a look at it don't worry okay let's save this one a 
okay can read property of bind we named we changed it so let's fix that up on handle change on handle input change handle change so we bind this all right now okay awesome now we can even try seeing it in the so let's see it in the console as well so on handle change console log this state body okay so as you can see this is the, the HTML okay this is how it comes beautiful all right so if you apply h1 it might it comes h1 okay so it's amazing so next thing we need to do is um, this uh, for title as well so this this has been done for this body the react quill side the text area now for the uh, for this title the input title what we can do for this one what we can do is we can create another method or we can even use inline you know it's it's pretty straightforward so we modified that method handle change and we use that only for that component in fact let's do this one let's do it inline it's pretty straightforward so inline on change what we can do is we can say uh, use this arrow function event take the event and then set state this set state and set only thing we need to do is set the title right event target value now you can create this com uh, method here on top or you can do this inline as well so it's good to know that you can do this inline as well otherwise if you prefer the old way you you know how to do it the old way we had before you can do the same for this one okay so on change uh, we can set the title as well and we can set the body as well all right so awesome now let's give it a try let's do h1 all right let's post how cool is that you see that now it's working we can use this rich text area to build this awesome blog okay so this that we're getting there now we have the h1 all this markup is there now if you remember we have this um, this one render html as well so we can use that to render the actual uh, render this html to the proper proper format okay so let's do that and finish this video it's been quite long but let's do this so that by the end we, we will have achieved quite a lot okay where we have this render post all we have to do is wrap this um, body post body inside this method render HTML. simple as that okay let me save this one come back here and there we have it we have the h1 and then we have the content how good is that right so we're getting there and this is a this is great if you have made it so far uh, obviously you made it because i've uh, explained everything pretty well i guess so any problem let me know otherwise um, thanks for watching this video and if you like this video and want to see more videos uh, added to this series please like subscribe share with your friends all right so have fun and i will come up with the next lesson very soon all right guys i'll see you thank you